Right then guys, now we've got all the, uh, the panels off the walls, uh, we've got all the flooring up. So the next stage that we've got to do now is literally clean the van. So I'm going to give the van a good old clean now, uh, wipe it down with some degreaser and um, things like that. And then we're going to fill the holes in the floor and then touch up any places that need touching up with red oxide and some uh, white paint or or hammerite or something in that description. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and start cleaning the floors. Right, so then guys, that's it all swept up. I'm now going to go ahead and hoover it up now and then we're hoover all the walls down inside the gullies where all the dirt is and then after that we give it a good wash down. Right guys, I've swept and I've hoovered all the flooring, uh, tried to hoover some of the side panels. So my next job now is going to be to get some degreaser, clean all the side panels on the roof, and then the last job will be to uh, mop the floor and then go around and treat the holes. So I'm just going to go ahead now and start degreasing these walls. Right guys, so that's all the walls washed down now and wiped down and the floors. Uh, my next job now is go round, identify where all the holes are, give them a little spray of red oxide, any rust or any bad paintwork that I see showing bare metal, give it a spray of red oxide. Then I'm going to go round and fill the holes with like a metal epoxy paste that I've got. And then after that, we spray them with red oxide again. And then we go and spray some white paint on them. So let me just give you a quick look around and see what I've done to the walls on the floor. So as you can see guys, the floor and the walls are now a hell of a lot cleaner. Yeah, it almost looks brand new. So as you can see, like in that corner over there, we've got a little bit of rust. So we'll treat that. Uh, apart from that, it's not too bad. So we've just got to go around and do the walls and the floor where we see a bit of rust. Oh, there's a little bit down there in that corner. Uh, we'll just go around now with a bit of red oxide. So I'll catch up again with you in a minute. Right, so I've been around. I've sprayed everything with red oxide now. All the areas that I think might need it. Uh, all around the floor where the holes are from the screws and from the cargo points. So now I'm gonna go around that and fill them holes with this stuff called JB Weld. It's like an epoxy resin, which you just mix together. It's like a putty and then you just fill the holes with that. We'll let that go off and then we'll go and spray the red oxide with a bit of white gloss. Um, I'm just gonna show you now 
how much red oxide I've sprayed around the place. I've gone a little bit OTT, but hey ho. Right, as you can see, I've gone a little bit too uh, gun ho with the red oxide. I've uh, gone up on the walls uh, where it's just bare metal all the way around. Uh, over in the corners there, sprayed the wheel arches. And uh, yeah, I've literally just gone round and uh, gone mental with the red oxide. So now I'm just going to go around now and fill some of these holes up with this epoxy metal. This stuff's a little bit like play though, you just got to keep mixing it until it goes like a dark grey and then you know it's ready. Okay, right, so I've gone around the floor now and I've filled all the holes with that epoxy. Um, so I'm going to give that an hour to go off before I come back in and spray them with some red oxide. But while I'm waiting, I'm just going to spray the walls with the white paint where I've gone round with the red oxide. But before I do that, let me just show you the floor and what I've done. Yeah, I'm not sure you can see that guys, but as you can see on the floor there, these little dark grey patches. Yeah, I'll just zoom into one. These little dark grey patches are the uh, epoxy that I've put into the floor. Apologise for poor uh, video quality. So what I'm going to do is wait an hour for them to go off a little bit and then I'll come back and spray them with red oxide. So while we're waiting for that, I'm now going to go around and spray the walls where I've got all the red oxide on. So I'm just going to go around now and spray them up. So that's the walls all sprayed up now in the white. You can just have a look there. Well, I'm just going to wait a little bit longer now and then I'm going to spray the floor up with a bit more red oxide where we've put this uh, epoxy putty and then we'll go ahead and spray that white. Right, so all the red oxide is complete now on the floor, so once that's dry, I'm then going to go around and spray it all white. Right, all the red oxide has gone off now, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around, spray it up with white paint, and then we're going to leave that overnight to go off. So I'm just going to go ahead and get on with that, and then I'll show you at the end what it looks like. Right, okay guys, I've uh, finished spraying the floor in the white now. So let's have a look and see what that looks like. Now it's not exactly the best job in the world, but we're not going to be seeing any of this. It's going to be hidden behind all our flooring and our walls. So I was debating whether to do another coat or not, but I don't think we're going to bother because we don't, we're not going to see it. So that now guys means we have come to the end of the prep. So next we can start doing the build. So I'll see you on the next one when we start doing the build. Cheers for now, bye.